God's plan. I used to not believe in God, but I was raised to since before my own birth. My dad is often the one to tell of God's greatest involvement in his and my own lives. I was merely a growing flower within my mother's womb at the time. She was 20, newly single, and hugely pregnant. God took my dad's hand and rested it on my mother's growing belly. Dad's eyes met hers and said, I'm not sure why, but I have a feeling I'm going to be involved in this baby's life somehow. I just know it. And he was right. As a child in church, religion was hard to follow because I could not see or feel it. I could never quite comprehend the concept of God being my Heavenly Father simply because I already had one at home. Dad never asked to raise another man's baby, but he assumed the role of my dad and made it his own. He was there for the hugs and the kisses, the scrapes and the tears. When I was 17, a car accident left me a broken, crumpled mess. I lay there at the scene, engulfed in shock that pulsed through my tired veins, and thought it better for death to consume me whole. But then my dad came to me and carried me away from the dark place. God's intuition. I finally met God for myself when I was in college. In the dead of night, my personal demons blindly led me to the rooftop of some apartment buildings downtown. The demons took everything from me and nearly convinced me to jump. But then God came to me and opened my eyes. He made me look at myself. Instead of criticizing my situation, he reached out his hand. It was luminescent, glowing, and bigger than life itself. God led me back down to safety. The next morning, I had to know. Why would my dad dedicate his whole life to raise a stranger's daughter if she were capable of committing such self-destruction? I called him, and like God, he brushed away my flaws and embraced my best. I could feel him shrug on the other side of the line. I knew the choice wasn't his to pick me out of a lineup of unborn babies to claim for himself and to love and nurture. Having you in my life is God's plan, he said. And just like that, everything made sense to me. How else could I explain the jagged edges of my childhood perfectly and with ease gliding together until they locked? My dad, though a great man, couldn't have done it alone. I watched God stand by him, stand by me. Nothing can protect you from life's nightmares, but he will be there to fix your broken pieces. My dad and I might not share the same blood, but we now share the same love, life, and God. And through my dad, God loves me too. This I believe.